Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to Flaming Pharaoh. Um, sorry the videos have been a little late. Um, yeah, a lot's been going on in real life, like my dog got sick, and then he had to have some surgery, and it was pretty scary, and then we went over to see some friends, and yeah, it's, just, it's been a busy week. But I finally found the time to make a Pharaohcraft episode. And I'm glad, because we have actually finished the Cloud Village, or as much as I want to work on it. I'm starting to get a little bored of this project, mainly because there's a little too much theme, and it's way too grindy, because I have to grind for the same thing over and over and over and over again. So I've decided that I don't want this to be my base. I've also decided I don't want that to be my base. So I've come up with an entirely new idea, which I'll show you in a moment. First, I need to show you what I've done and eat my chicken. Now that I've eaten my chicken, let's take a look at what I've made. Just come up, come up, come up. All right, now this base is still going to be here. It's not, I'm not gonna like blow this thing up. This base is still gonna be here, but it's not where I'm gonna be living. I'm going to be living somewhere else. And I actually have an idea, which is that, like, I keep switching bases, which would be really cool. And, yeah, so I've created the blacksmith, as you saw, which is looking pretty cool with, like, all the irony things. I then decided to make a collapsed mine for something. And now I've created the, the farmer's house with a finished roof made out of hay. And now that we've done that, it is time to pick the location and show you um, the design or what I have so far of my base. So first of all, let's find a location. I'm thinking somewhere in the jungle, just because like either I can build it in sky or I'm thinking of building it underground because it, would, it looks so ugly or like the walls look so ugly. Mainly because this is a base that the only thing that should matter is the interior. Everything else doesn't matter. It's just the interior at the moment that counts. So now we actually need to pick a spot for it. Now, if I'm going to build it um, somewhere, I really want to build it in the jungle. Because like in the birch forest, I like it. But the grass is kind of like dull and dying. Worse than the extreme hills. When you go into the jungle, it's a nice lush green. And I think that would be the perfect place to make a base. So I'm thinking like a secret entrance underground and an avatar reference for making my base under Lake Lao Guy. Say, ha okay, type hashtag avatar state in the comments if you recognize that reference <laughs> i can't wait to read the comments on this one so now that we picked a location i am actually going to show you what i have so far but it's only three rooms but it actually looks really cool now this base is inspired by the hermitcraft youtuber called um etho or etho's lab he's a member of the hermitcraft server and he has this amazing base where the interior is beautiful and as soon as you like try to go and look at the exterior there's just nothing there's no exterior it's all interior and i was thinking to do that the best way to do that is to go underground where you can't see the exterior so let's take a look at what i have so far Okay, so I'll just like. Okay. This is what I have so far. So, like, we have this little room in here with shroom lights in the ground to kind of give that, like, nice texture, which actually lights up the room, just like through the water. We have like, kind of like a glass roof with some water up there and a nice waterfall sugarcane feature. 
I said, nice waterfall sugar cane feature. Maybe with some more shroom lights to light up this place. Yeah. The shroom lights going the shroom light, water, and plants are gonna be some of the main elements in my base. Also, um stripped oak logs as well. Now can I get yep. So yeah. This is so this is the first room, or this is probably gonna be like the entrance hall, and it can also be a sugarcane farm. Now, the theme I'm going for this is beautiful with usefulness. If I change those blocks up there, I can make it so that this is a decorative sugarcane feature and also a sugarcane farm. So that will look good. And then we have the beautiful bone and quartz staircase up to the no purpose room, except for kind of like a, a, a court room where like you can split into, you, you can go into a bunch of different rooms. I haven't finished the lighting, but I'm thinking like the lighting will be like these kind of like hanging lights. We have more plants and bamboo. Glowstone under um, the, uh, the water just to like give it a cool feeling and also light it up. We have probably the most expensive walls in the world with lapis. So I'm gonna have to go on the grind for that. And that, but it really looks good. And then like we can like have some rooms back there. And I think it looks really cool. And the most important bit is the llama in the mine cart. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking for my base. We also have the, um, the beehive bridge. And there's going to be many other rooms. I don't know what they're going to have. Probably some farms. And I'll probably like farms somewhere else and just have like a nice thing. Or like I could have like a furnace floor. That's one of my favorite things. We go out here. I actually designed a furnace floor. Which looks really good. And of course it's a furnace floor so we can actually use furnaces. Again. Beautiful with usefulness. Oh my goodness. Look. Okay then. And that's really all we have time for in this episode. I wish this episode could be longer. I'm hoping to start work on my base pretty soon. And I'm hoping to keep uploading more. But as school is coming pretty soon, um, there's a chance that I'm going to not upload for probably a while. Just because I'm going to be busy with homework and then school is going to be full virtual. So I'm going to have to virtualize these things. So I'm hoping to keep uploading as much as I have been. But there's a chance I might not. But right now, that is not today's problem as school is still a week or two away. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.